What's up? What's up? What's up, mis amigos, my friends? Hello, hello, hello. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to That's Right, the only game app in the world that gives you not one but two chances to win some money. Let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Caesar Camacho, aka Coach Caesar, aka the Quiz Daddy. Now let me tell you something funny. I saw somebody at Walmart today, literally this morning, and they and they yelled from across the uh, hall, "Hey, Quiz Daddy!" I just wave so uh it was the funniest thing but it's true i am the quiz daddy and your host for the evening happy hum day i can't believe the week is almost over and i hope that you guys are ready to win some money that's right he's giving you tonight the opportunity to win three thousand dollars that's right baby three thousand dollar ruse tonight we're very excited uh, it is hump day to make some money quick shout outs before we get started happy birthday to macy gabrielle and shelby finch Shout outs to Nolan, Misty, Lane, and Rhonda McMillan. Uh, also, the guys' family in West Monroe. Big shout out to my girl Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Love you, girl. And finally, big shout out to Angie and the crew at Fiesta Nutrition Center in Monroe, Louisiana. We super love you guys. Thank you for all your love and all your support. Now, for my first timers, I'm going to tell you how this works. So bear with me because I have to explain to you how it works. We're going to ask you a series of 10 time questions. You have to answer them fast and you have to answer them correctly. If you do all 10 questions, you win. If multiple people get all the questions correctly, you split the pot, which tonight is $1,500. That's right. Now, at the same time, we're going to be playing the drawing game. That means if you miss uh, one or more questions, do not jump off the game. Because every time that you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you a ticket. Um, we're going to give you a ticket right here in the corner. We gave you one tonight because we love you and uh, because we, we, we appreciate that you're joining us. Now at the end of the game we're gonna have Betsy the super duper ball machine picking up one random winner. He's gonna walk away with another $1,500. Now remember, take qu 10 questions, get them all correctly and you win the, the pot. At the end, stay a fun game and uh, we're just gonna give you another $1,500. We guys are ready to go. We got 8,200 people online and ready to play. Quick fingers, all eyes on your phone because here we go with question number one. Science, what is the process of a river washing away its riverbanks cold? Is it exotic, emulsion, propulsion or erosion? Plutus in Butt Lake, New Jersey. Shout out to all of our friends in New Jersey for playing up in the East Coast. Uh, the correct answer, erosion. An action of a surface process that removes soil, rock, and dissolved materials from one location of the Earth's crust and transport it to another location. An example of a big, uh, the most uh, staggering erosion is the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon. Now, in the bottom, you get to pick the next category. So you pick, and uh, we give you the next question. Question number two: Celebrities. Drew Barrymore plays a character with short-term memory loss in what movie? Is it Bogey, 50, uh, 50 First Dates, uh, The Amy Fisher Story, or Happy Gilmore? Shout out to Think Different in Potomac, Maryland. Jump on that one first. You got people playing all around the United States. The correct answer is 50 First Dates. 6,986 of you guys got that one correctly. The American romantic comedy 50, 50 First Dates, I can't even say it, 50 First Dates was released in February 2004 starring Adam Sandler as the Playboy veterinarian and Drew Barrymore as Lucy, the local girl with a short-term memory loss. The movie totaled a box office of approximately $196 million. That's a ton of that's right. Right. All right. Question number three. Before I ask you question number three, I need you to follow us on social media because we're giving you clues on social media every day. We got Facebook, we got Twitter, we got Snapchat, we got Instagram. We got all kinds of uh, clues giving you in social media. So follow us on social media. Question number three. Science. What mollusk has eight arms and two long tentacles? Is it a sea, a sea snail, nautilus, nat, octopus, and a squid? How do you say that? Nautilus. Natalus, uh, uh, we, I, I, we don't even know. The correct answer is the squid. I knew that. The, did you know there are three more than 300 known species of squid and the most of them are in major bodies of salt water. There's some of them in fresh water too. Uh, 4,405 of you got that one right. The most famous squid on the planet is not a squidward. 
Because I thought it was in a SpongeBob. You guys watch SpongeBob? Squidward is not a squid, it's an octopus. I didn't know that. Question number four beauty and fashion. The mohair sweater is made with wool from what animal? A goat, a rabbit, a mammoth, or a moa? Big shout out to Jen A in Cookville, Tennessee for being the first one to jump on that one. The correct answer is a goat. A goat. Did you know that goats are one of the oldest domesticated species in the world? You got 3,631 of you guys got that one right. Mohair sweaters are known for being both durable and resilient. The mohair is notable for the high luster and sheen, which, which help which helped develop it into the nickname of the diamond fiber. So the next time that you buy something for your wife, get her uh, get her uh, one of those sweaters and tell her this is the woman's best friend. It's a diamond fiber. <laughs> Before I ask you question number five, watch this video. There you go. Which company offers the option to order groceries online and pick up at their location? Huh? Is it Walmart? Is it the corner store? Or is it your granny? You get to pick right. Let me tell you, if you have never used Walmart's, uh, Walmart's online service of pickup and delivery, you should. This is what you do. You go online, you pick all your groceries, you, you select which pickup time you want, and then you pull up in this super nice comes out with your groceries already bagged and everything, they put them in your trunk and you drive, you don't even have to get out of your car. Walmart, baby, save money, live better. Walmart, 6,276 of you guys got that one right. We got a bunch of Walmart fans. Go on with question number six, celebrities. What is Jessica Alba's nickname in the series Dark Angel? Is it Valentine, uh, Sky Angel, Booth, or Death Angel? The correct answer, Sky Angel. Sky Angel. Jessica Alba was born in 1981 in uh, Pomona, California, and she rose to stardom after she was chosen from more than 1,200 candidates to play the role of a generic engineer super soldier in the Fox, Fox TV series Dark Angel. In 2001, this is a trivia for you, 2001, Jessica Alba was ranked number one on Maxim's Magazine Hot 100. Listen. Caliente. 2,000 of you guys got that one right. Let's go for question seven. Cowboys AT&T Stadium is located in watch in which in what in which city? Is it Dallas, Austin, Arlington, or Fourth Ward? Britt Mac 30 in Monroe, Louisiana was the first one to answer that one correctly. Let's see if you have any idea. Did you think it was Dallas because of the Cowboys? It's Arlington. Arlington, Texas is the correct answer. AT&T Stadium was completed in May of 2009 and it currently sits about 80,000 people. The maximum capacity of the stadium with standing room is 105 thousand people and let me give you the trivia for this one that stadium has the world's 29th largest high-def video screen in the globe it hangs from the 20th yard line to the 20th yard line that's a big old screen 1568 of you got that one got that one right we're going for question eight food and beverage what does the hp on hp sauce stand for is it hoger and proctor highly piquant House is a parliament or a hot pepper. I bet you I bet you some of you guys don't know this one. I didn't know it either. The correct answer is houses of parliament. Houses of parliament. HP, HP sauce is a dark brown, fruity but savory sauce used in similar mustard. It was originally produced by HP Foods in the United Kingdom. Therefore, it was named after London's Houses of Parliament. It's very popular in Canada, in Ireland, in Australia, New Zealand. Now that one chops some people off the trivia game. We got only three of 300 people with that one correctly. We got two more questions. Keep answering. We keep giving you those tickets on the top. Geography. Here we go. Which U.S. state still continues to be called Tree Planter State? Is it Nebraska, Washington, Maine, or Georgia? The correct answer is Nebraska. Nebraska. The Cornhusker State is officially replaced the Tree Planter State in 1945 in recognition to the University of Nebraska football team, the Cornhuskers. But to this day, Nebraska is still called the Tree Planter State. Why? The name was adopted after the Timber Culture Act became a federal law in uh, 1873 and allowed homesteaders to acquire 160 acres of land by planting 40 acres of tree. 
Don't ask me how I remember all of that, but I did. Now we're going for the last one. Let's see who wins the trivia. Question 10, science. When uranium-235 undergoes fission, how many neutrons does it release? Ooh la la. This one is for my scientist friends. Um, we got people in Monroe, Louisiana and uh, Longwood. That one first, the correct answer is tres, three. Fission is the action of dividing and splitting uh, something into two or more parts. In nuclear physics, the fission process of it, uh, produces free neutrons and gamma photons and releases very, very large amount, amounts of energy. 1,256 of you guys got that I cannot believe 1,200 of you guys are scientists or just got lucky. It's incredible. Incredible. Well, pencils down. Ten questions are done. And guess what, baby? We got winners! Ah, congratulations! Great job, great job. 25 winners walk away with $60 each. We got people in New Hampshire, in California, in Georgia. We got people everywhere winning winning some money. I know the $60 doesn't sound like a lot of money, but $60 is a tank of gas and it helps out. Nothing better than a free tank of gas on a Wednesday night, right? All right, we're going to give you guys a chance to win some extra tickets because to, for us to have the drawing, we have to have an even number of tickets distributed. So we're going to give you guys a chance to win some extra tickets with the bonus. Now, let me tell you how the bonus question works. Only the fastest get the tickets. We got a certain amount of tickets that we're going to give away, but if you don't answer fast, you might not get the ticket. Are you ready? Here we go. Bonus question. What is Walmart's current slogan? I'd so, I said it earlier. Let's see if you were paying attention or let's see if you watch Walmart commercials. Is it take it easy, Sam Walton rocks, have a nice day or save money, live better with Walmart. I, I, I know that most of you guys got that one correctly. Uh, 4,148 of you guys got that one right. So some of you guys got the tickets over here in the corner. Now, before we do the drawing and send it to Betsy, I need you to do us a favor. I need you to number one, follow us on social media like I told you before because we give you guys some clues every day. And most importantly, give us a good rating in the App Store and Google Play. If you give us five stars, that means that our friends over here in the back is gonna give us more money. And more money to us means more money to you. So. Give us a, go to the Google app, uh, the Google Play and the App Store. Give us five stars. Hook us up with that. We appreciate your feedback. All right. Now, without further ado, we're going to have the drawing. So, all your tickets are going to populate right here in the bottom. All right. And we're going to bring Betsy the Bowl Machine and she's going to pick a random winner. Here we go. Fuckata. What's up, Betsy girl? We've missed you. All right. Let's pull the first number. Let's just get this show on the road. First number is number one now. Let's pull the next one and see who's going to win this money. Number one again. We got one and one. That usually never happens. Let's pick the next one. Let's see if it is. I was hoping it was not a number one. It's number eight. So we have one, one, and eight. Betsy, give me the next one. Let's see what we got. Number eight again. Oh, la, la. So we have one, one, eight, eight. Got two more numbers. Let's see who wins the money. Betsy. Give me another one. Five. So we got one, one, eight, eight, five. Now, if you are around Sherry John in Farmerville, Louisiana, if you are around Mandaru in Downsville, Key C. Carden in Colvington, or people in Downsville, Louisiana, Baskin, Farmerville, we got people in New Mexico, Celia in Cebolla, New Mexico. If you are around those guys, pull your cell phone out, take a video and send it to us of our winner. We love seeing people win some money. Here we go. The winner is going to be selected. Number two, we got one one eight eight five two. Guess what, baby? We have a winner. Congratulations to A. B. Simpson in Farmerville, Louisiana, the Metropolitan Farmerville, Louisiana, walks away with fifteen hundred dollar rules. All of our trivia winners, we appreciate all you guys, all your feedback. We appreciate all your support. Remember to refer a friend. Every time that you refer a friend, you get five tickets over here in the corner. And please go to the App Store and Google Play. Give us five stars because we appreciate your ratings. Now, thank you for all your support. We love you guys. We miss you for the rest of the night. We're going to see you tomorrow in the only 
app that gives you two chances to win. That's right. 